Hello friends, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video tutorial, we are going to see uh, what is Active Directory site and subnet and how we can create it. In Active Directory infrastructure setup, the domain represent the logical topology, while uh, domain controllers, sites and subnets represent the physical topology. Sites in Active Directory domain service represent the physical structure of topology of your network. ADDs use network topology information which is stored in a directory as a site and subnet and siting objects to build the most efficient application topology. The replication topology itself consists of the set of connection objects that enable inbound replication from source domain controller to the destination domain controller that store the connection object. The KCC means noise consistency checker service creates the connection objects automatically on a each domain controller. First of all, let's look at our scenario. So I have a two domain controller within the same site and that is a default site. Because by default, whenever you place a domain controller, the domain controller will place under default first site name. So we have a two domain controller and let's check on our domain controller. So, if I open Active Directory uh, Site and Services, so here is our default first site name. I have a two domain controller and both are placed under here. So, this is the entity asserting. And as you are seeing, there is a uh, replication object, connection object is there, which is automatically created by KCC, and that is saying for SRTD001. This link is coming from source is SRT-DC02 and destination is SRT-DC01. Similarly, for SRT-DC02, we have a link from SRT-DC01 as a source and destination is a SRT-DC02. So, a site can be a simply defined as a physical location or network. It can be separate, it can be for separate building, separate city or you can say separate geographical location. So in this demo, I will show you the how to create and uh, configure sites and subnet. And uh, for example, let's take the our company have a uh, two branch offices, and uh, I want to put a one domain controller in a, each branch office. For example, let's take the company that you work for is opening a one or more branch office, and uh, you as an administrator need to put in the place the network. You install one or more domain controller, file server, etc. But what about the replication traffic? Right now. Our both domain controller think they are in a same network site and will replicate changes every 5 minutes by default. This means traffic on your WAN links. To solve this problem, Active Directory comes to rescue and that is Active Directory site object. By creating a AD sites, you can administer the replication topology not only between WAN site but also on your LAN site if it is required. So for this demo, I have a two location. First is a main office. And second one is a branch office. In every location, I have one domain controller running Windows Server 2 System Controller 2, and that is a single forest and single domain. So, how can we define? Generally, you should configure sites before adding your domain controller because if you take a look now in my Active Directory site and services, you will see that is a mess. So, all domain controllers are in a single site. And I did this on purpose, so let's clean up it. Now, let's see, we have a scenario, this little bit change. For this demonstration, let's take, we have a main office, and that is connected with this network, 192.168.49.0. We have a branch office, and already there is also domain controller, and uh, we have a, this network is over there, okay. So let's change that on uh, our additional domain controller. Let's uh, change the IP configuration and that will be this time. We have a 50.11 and actually let's say 50.10. So it will be 50.10 and this time we'll get it will be 50.1. So already I have a router. Primary DNS server IP is a uh, 50.10 and uh, preferred alternate DNS server will be 49.10. Actually that is a our uh, root domain controller IP. Click on OK, close, and as well as let's check in your DNS. Okay, so we have updated IP. As well as I'm under uh, 192.168.50 reverse lookup zone. Let's update the record. 
Okay. Close. Okay, so refresh. Now done. Similarly on uh, for DC, you don't have to change anything, but I want to specify the alternate DNS server IP that is 192.168.50.1, sorry 10, and our gateway will be 49.1, okay. So now let's check the uh, connectivity between these two domain controllers after uh, changing the network. 49.10 okay so there is a connectivity between these two okay so now now let's go for the site creation so currently we have a, this kind of topology and i want to create a one site for main office as well as subnet for this network and as well as we want to create a branch office site and for subnet for this IP network so let's do that things on uh, our root domain controllers. So first of all, you have to open Active Directory Site and Service Console. And uh, for starter, we're going to rename the default for site name. So just right click on it, select rename, specify the name, main hyphen office. Okay. Now I'm going to create a, another site and that is our branch office. and select default IP site link okay so now I say uh, site has been created successfully but you have to specify the uh, subnet to branch office one okay so now we have a now let's create a subnet so we have a two networks right now for these two sites and that is 192.168 49.0 slash 24 for main office okay and uh, second subnet 192.168.50.0 slash 24 for branch office 1 okay so now we say we change the our topology for this demonstration and that's why we have a two different different network also put a router over there so then both domain controller can communicate which with each other so now we have a it's time to move our uh, domain controller from default site to newly created branch office site so for that just right click on your domain controller that is our our uh, additional domain controller select move and then select the site branch office one click on okay here we go now i say from site this and now this will look like this okay so let's check on uh, our domain controller is that changes is uh, replicated to our domain controller or not let's check that no still here we can see there's a default first setting because already we create our two sites and define the subnets and so on so we have to replicate these changes on our domain controller so right click on ntds setting click on all task click on check replication topology okay select refresh and then right click on replicate now okay do the same thing for srtdc02 right click on it select all task check replication topology and wait so let's check the connectivity between our uh, additional domain controller and that is 50.10 yeah there's no problem also let's uh, ping with uh, fqdn so search dc02 dot my lab dot local okay so here we have a problem that is not updated so under dns all records are there and that i want to update here we go so then manually I want to I have to update this record 192.168.50.10 okay and then now run uh, ip config slash plus dns to clear the cache and now 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 again go back just right click on it select all task 
check your application topology okay that's done pretty simple click on refresh and now just right click on it replicate now that's not a problem okay so just if you click on replicate now it's saying uh, one or more this actually directed domain service connections are between domain controller in a different site so any ds will attempt to replicate across this connection and it will take some time so now let's check on our uh, additional domain controller so is there any changes just right click on sites and select refresh as you are seeing now we have a branch office servers srtd 2 and main office we have a server srtd dc01 and so on and that is the replication is also doing successful if you refresh and uh, select replicate now does not any problem so this is the way how you can uh, create a site and subnet but that will be depends on your scenario which type of scenario you have a uh, I have a mind scenario that is a uh, look like this. So if you have a different scenario, you have to specify the uh, sites and subnet as per your scenario. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any question, please specify inside the comment section box. Thank you.